Hello and welcome to our YouTube channel. Now today is a very special day for all of us at Car Talk because we have a very special SUV. This is the badass Force Gurkha 4x4. Now there has been a major update to this vehicle. It gets a Merc licensed 2.2 liter turbo diesel engine with 140 bhp of power and 320 newton meters of torque. These figures are far more than the Mahindra Thar. We are at Oras, the off-road adventure zone, a perfect place to see if we can tame the Gurkha or will the Gurkha tame us? Well, let's have a look. The Force Gurkha continues to look macho, muscular, old school. This one, thanks to a raised height, has immense road presence. You can easily scare away slow-moving smaller vehicles. The one you see here comes with optional accessories. The alloy wheels, Max's mud tires, roof rack on the top, a jerry can holder at the back for your Ladakh trips and a solid front windscreen guard. The overall design otherwise remains same as the older Gurkha. The white color looks great on this and gels well with the contrasting black shade of the cladding and other bits. Trust me, arrive in the Force Gurkha with these bits and you will turn more heads than a Fortuner that costs 3 times the price. The G-Wagon lookalike design theme also works well for the Gurkha. And the interiors? Well, let's find out. Now, while the exteriors are really badass, they look very macho, very muscular like a proper 4x4 SUV, the interiors will frankly surprise you when you first sit in, inside the Gurkha. It's not about luxury, it's not about uh, premium features, it's not about uh, driver convenience. Now, this is made not to a price, but made to for a purpose. This is your hardcore companion for Ladakh, for Spiti, for uh, you know driving in the floods and people, helping people in Kerala, something like that. And, and in that regard, I think, Force has not done anything wrong. You have a dual tone theme because the seats are finished in beige and black. This is not really bad. You have lighter colors over here. Uh, ergonomically, not an issue from a driver's perspective. I stand six feet tall, ample, ample headroom. It's really wide car, so you won't be rubbing shoulders with your co-passenger. The seat also goes quite all the way back like this. So in terms of space, in terms of a driver's point of view, you sit really high, uh, a thin A pillar, a large uh, windshield, large windows, they roll on completely flat. The doors also open really wide. You have your grab handle. So getting inside, sitting inside, the comfort factor is not really bad. I think Force has really worked hard over the years in terms of the plastic quality as well. And this one, I know you'll feel the pinch at 15 lakh rupees on road, getting this kind of a basic uh, environment. But ask those who do, who do hardcore off-roading every week. They go to sand dunes, they go for slush. Uh, bashing they come to Oras for people like them they understand that you need interiors like these no electronics means nothing will go wrong these hard plastics will uh, uh, last a lifetime you have your AC you have your tachometer you have your speedometer you have your power steering you have your diff lock uh, handles over here you have the 404 lever over here a cup holder places to keep your knickknacks so in that terms it's a good car if you want luxury guys you can stop the uh, video right here you can see the V-Cross, this is meant for a purpose and in this data card, it's really top marks for this category. Now the older uh, engine in the Gurkha was known to be very loud on the inside but uh, Force has worked a lot on the NVH levels and making sure this new unit is smoother and makes less noise. Uh, let's hear it uh, right now on the camera. So the engine is idling right now just under 1000 RPM. I can talk to you, I can talk to my co-passengers, I can talk to Ajish behind the camera right now. If I rev the motor, it's actually, I think, less noisier than the Thar. And not bad for an off-road 4 4 vehicle. The boot is open right now, so some noise is coming inside, but look at this. Even the gear lever right now, Ajish, if you can focus on the gear lever, is not shaking. I'm revving the car and the gear lever is not shaking. The steering is not shaking. The internal mirror is not shaking, so everything combined together, I think hats off to Force Motors for making this more livable for drivers on a daily basis. Now I'm trying to show you how smooth the Gurkha is on the inside. This is a water bottle, basically you can see water inside. I'll keep it like this on the slightly not so straight uh, center console. 
I'll start the Gurkha. You can see the tachometer right here. And look what happens. The Gurkha is idling right now. This is not your butter smooth SUV. This is a hardcore off-roader. You can see the water is hardly shaking. It's at idling right now. And even while driving, the amount of torque from the engine is just shaking the car like this. Otherwise, 3000 RPM, it's butter smooth. I think really hats off to you know, Force Motors for really working hard for owners to make sure they enjoy their good cars. Again, you can see it's, I'm at 2200 RPM, it's butter smooth. And it drives all the way to 4000 plus. Now, like the Thar and the Gypsy, even this one, uh, the extreme version, the one we have right now, uh, gets you two side-facing seats. I'm sure a lot of customers who are going to use this for their private use will remove these and will put a front-facing bench or front-facing two independent seats from, say, the Innova. A lot of people do that. Uh, in the stock format, you can have three sitting over here and three over here, so it becomes an eight-seater. But the issue is in terms of the headroom. I stand six feet tall, as you can see. My head is easily hitting the roof and this metal part over here. So, headroom at the back is an issue. Uh, of course, no cup holders, no features, no AC ducts at the back. The uh, back windows do not open, but the middle ones, they can slide forward. The good part is that visibility from uh, these rows up front is really nice. I also love these funky headrests for the front uh, two seats. You have your grab handles over here at the back of the seat. You also have your door pockets. But yeah, no creature comforts and I think any customer who will do his R&D before purchasing this vehicle will understand it's not meant for comfort or luxury at the back, it's meant for a purpose. So I think no issues on this front. The seats can be uh, you know, folded and that liberates a lot of room at the back. Getting in and out is not uh, tough. You have these grab handles over here and the uh, footrest over here, but the quality of grab handles is shocking. It's not good. This one is actually moving it might come out so this is definitely i think an eyesore or an oversight by force motors this needs to be improved Now given the lack of time on hand and the winter rains further taking away precious minutes, we decided to stick to the confines of the off-road adventure zone and drove the beast in this natural territory. To begin with, the humps around the perimeter of the track. Now these look easy but remember, the rains made them quite slippery. Of course, the mud tyres came handy and we drove around these in 4x4H, not low. The high seating also gives you immense confidence in terms of visibility. As seen, the new live rigid axles really make things easier for the 2.2 Gurkha. And so do the approach and departure angles of 44 and 40 degrees. The Gurkha also comes with something I call as anti-stall. The gear lever in first, clutch out and no race inputs, the Gurkha will climb steep inclines, making sure the revs remain over 1000 RPM. This also works as a downhill assist as while coming down, the revs will not go over 1000 RPM thus continuing the Gurkha to crawl. This also gets a dual fly mass wheel which also helps to keep vibrations during such stressful usage patterns quite low. After this, we let the Gurkha loose for a while making use of all that rain and mud combined together. Do note the Gurkha generates 290Nm of torque from 1000 RPM onwards and this helps a lot. No need to go pedal to metal. Just use the torque here. And finally, the snorkel test.
although this pit wasn't too deep at places you can see the slush going over the bonnet this is where the snorkel comes handy before we end i do want to add that the suspension of the gurkha remains far more comfortable than that of the gypsy or the thar the live front axle has not taken away the plushness at all So there you go, the Force Gurkha 4x4 with the new 2.2 engine. Now in terms of pricing, this can be yours for 12.99 lakh rupees extra room daily, which is bang in the middle of the Thar 9.4 and the V Cross 15.2 15.3 extra room daily. Of course, this jerry can holder, the alloy wheels, and the Maxxis tires are not part of the package. You have to shout something from your pocket for being an enthusiast. My initial first question in the starting of the video: Can the new engine and the old school mechanicals? make this the best hardcore off-roader in the country well i think easily and by a huge margin why the approach and departure angles the diff locks the front and rear ones the snorkel the 4x4 low in the first gear the crawling function the extra punch the, the new gearbox the better nvs levels everything combined together really makes this so much more worthy or now you don't like the thar take this the v cross too expensive and too long take this what do you feel about the Force Gurkha? Let us know in the comment section below. And to watch more such videos, guys, you know what to do. Subscribe to our channel.